What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aggie and in today's video we're just going to be playing in makeup. Now originally I was supposed to be trying out some new products and you'll see in watching this video that I literally forgot to use the star of the show but it's okay. I did try out another new product. Um, it's the Live Tinted Hue Glow Liquid Blush. That's what I have on today. And so yeah, I'm just playing with makeup and just catch you guys up on my summer. If you want to see how I achieved this very natural makeup look, I'm heading to church, um, then please keep on watching. Also, if you're interested in beauty, lifestyle, and career videos, then subscribe to the channel. And let's hop right into it. If you see me looking over here, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. My skin is in recovery right now. I don't know if y'all can see the hills and mountains and valleys that are on my face. It's a work in, a work in progress, you guys. I'm focused for the day. It's kind of trying to make my skin as flawless as possible. It's not, I'm not doing heavy makeup today as, I kind of just want like a fresh face. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, fresh face, nothing crazy. But yeah, with, with my skin, it's, it's been it's been trying it you know and because i work in dermatology as an mp i'm literally treating people's skin four days a week it makes me a little bit more self-conscious if i'm being honest and so anyways it's it's starting to calm down a little bit even though you probably wouldn't be able to tell it is actually calming down there's that it's just uh, it just feels like it's a never ending cycle. Like right whenever I feel like my skin is doing good, it's like boop. It's back to doing bad again. Okay. What foundation do I want to wear today? You know, at first I'm going to spot conceal a little bit with my NARS Soft Matte and Amand. It's going to take a little bit of this in. I also need to get a different color in this concealer because it's lighter, lighter than me, or lighter than my skin tone, but I just really love the formulation of this product. Like, you see that spot right there? Just help it to fade away a lot better. I like that. Bring it on even closer so y'all can really get into it. Oh gosh, my skin. I'm gonna not even post this because I don't even like the way my skin is looking on film. Like it's so bumpy. But you know what? No, we're still gonna post this. So it's a little spot concealer. It's a little bit. It's a little bit of it. Erase. My bags. How has y'all summer been? How has summer 2024 been for you guys? Mine has been pretty good. Uh, Jesse and I, we went to Japan. That was so, 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 so much fun. Love Japan. Loved Japan. It was never a place that was on my personal like places to visit. But we kind of wanted to diversify where we were traveling to since previously we visited Cartagena, Colombia one summer. Like our first travel, international travel was to Cartagena, Colombia. And then we've done um after that we went to Europe, we went to Italy. And so we, we wanted to switch up the continent which we traveled. So we said, let's go to an Asian country. We considered Thailand, Singapore, Vietnam, and ultimately chose Tokyo because of the weather that time of the year. And I'm so glad that we went. I didn't really know like what to expect. Like I said, it wasn't really on my radar. And Jesse planned the entire trip. I would just... I just packed my bag and showed up. But we absolutely loved it. 
It's so much different from every other place that we visited. You know, we didn't see beaches or stunning architecture, you know, but what we really loved about the place was one, like how advanced it is technology wise. Like it felt like I was living in the future and how safe it felt, how clean it was everywhere, like even in public places. It was, it was just so beautiful. And then also, more importantly, the people there. Just very, very respectable, kind people. And we didn't feel that we stood out in any way. I, I totally expected to get a lot of attention just because of how we looked. And I've been to India before and definitely had people like stop and stare at me just because they haven't seen a lot of people who look like me. But that wasn't the case in Japan and it was refreshing like to just be able to be and not have people like yeah just chase you down and then just get treated with respect more importantly like didn't feel like I got treated differently at all like I said just because of how I looked or where I might be from so that was really nice Y'all, the toilet experience in Japan, honey, have y'all used a bidet before? Life-changing. Life-changing. It was my first time. When I tell you guys, we have bidets in all three of our bathrooms as I speak. <laughs> like, we were not playing games. We went and ordered bidets. Jesse installed them, like, a couple weeks after we landed and we've had elevated toilet experiences ever since okay also the vintage slash secondhand luxury shopping there a dream a dream and i'm not even like a luxury bag girly i mean at this point i think i could i could say i am because i got a number of designer bags but they were secondhand so they were a very 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 good price and they were tax-free and I want to say at least one of them is vintage so one of a kind meaning they don't make that bag anymore y'all want to see the bag let me know and I'll show it in the next video but yeah we even consider going back next summer but we're like you know what we have so many other places that we could visit so now one of my girlfriends well three of my girlfriends they try to they try to travel to Africa um, once a year and I've missed all of their former trips just because of time conflicts but they are planning a trip to Rwanda which also has never been on my radar but then I went on Rwanda TikTok honey and honey Rwanda looks beautiful and it's the safest country in Africa like who knew I will say since traveling to Japan I think what I value in a place I visit has changed a little bit so safety is really 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 important to me moving forward like I want to feel safe if I'm spending my money to go somewhere foreign so that is High, high priority okay the video quality might be slightly different because y'all are on my phone now my camera died let me shut up doing my eyebrows real quick and then we're gonna keep on talking very much giving um <laughs> unrelated second cousins right now what these eyebrows like girl what is going on what is going on what is going on y'all we gotta keep it moving we gotta keep it moving this one amicole 
their skin enhancing tint today. I don't want nothing crazy today. I am trying to hurry up and get out of here. So, you know what? I think this has turned into one of my favorite skin products, like the Skin Tint by Amy Cole. It's tea. Really is tea. Really is tea. So, oh, what I was saying earlier, this is Rose Ink Concealer Shade LX140. What I was saying earlier is we might be going to Rwanda. Rwanda, it looks beautiful, like very mountainous, very safe. And I haven't been to Africa since 2014 and that was Nigeria where my family is from. So it'll be nice to explore like another African country. I still really wanna to go to Ghana, but I would wanna do that in Detsi December. Or I would want to do it in December for Dead to December, which is basically when a lot of people go back to Nigeria and Ghana. Um, it's just a lot of like a lot of people that return back that time of the year to visit family, just to turn up. So I would want to do Ghana during that time of the year. But next summer, it's looking like Rwanda. And then hopefully we also will be going to Dubai for my brother-in-law's 40th birthday. So we'll be able to do the Middle East, which I've never been to the Middle East before. Y'all, I forgot to use the serum. <sighs> I forgot to use this. This is what happens when you're rushing. <laughs> I cannot believe it. It's okay. It's okay. We'll try it out on another day. I love how this concealer blends out. It's like a dream. Okay. Do I even try out these new other makeup products? You know what? Yeah, I'm still going to try this out. I'm going to try out this new product by Skin Tinted called Emotionally Love, um, Emotionally Unavailable. It's their liquid blush. So I'm just going to try that on there. And let's see. I mean, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to have to put some more on of that. Honey, I need to get my eyebrows done. I need to get my eyebrows done. Okay, this is a nice little blush of color. Not mad at it. I'm not gonna do contour today. I am gonna go right in with powder. And yeah, I'm gonna take my Sephora Micro Smooth. This is probably my favorite setting powder. We'll do some of that. Let's do my smile lines. Hit that real quick. Bring that up wrong. To help do a reverse contour. Car. Boom. Yeah, that's that's been kind of like our summer. Did Japan. Y'all saw we did Chicago um earlier in like July, sorry, July. 
So now, I, this August, I've kind of just been chilling, like big chilling. Starting next week, I have my family coming into town to visit. Like my parents are visiting Austin for the first time, which I'm really excited about. We'll see where I live, see our home. So I'm really excited to host them. That should be good. Put a little bit. Oh my gosh. This is the Jackie Anna palette. Yeah, have y'all been seeing all... <laughs> have you guys been keeping up with like TikTok with people sharing their I got blocked by Jackie Anna story? I wonder y'all's thoughts on that. I'm not gonna lie. I like believe the people that have gotten blocked by her for like not really any serious reasons. Now, I do think that there are some shady people out there that probably crossed the boundary of Jackie Anna's and she probably has a team that filters those people out so she doesn't have to come across them. But I personally have a friend, a really good friend, who got blocked and she was like, I didn't do anything shady like but she got blocked by Jackie Anna so I do believe in all the most of the accusations I should say not all of them but most of them and honestly I love Jackie Anna I like she taught me how to do my makeup like I'm not even gonna hold you I bought in her candles her makeup as you can see her perfume I supported her but I just need to take a little bit of a Jackie Anna break so that's what I did. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of this blush too. This is kind of blush heavy, but I'm okay with that. This is the Fenty Beauty, um, what is it? Baked Peach Blush Lighter. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Just because, like, why not, you know? Why not? A little bit on my nose. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna use the one size setting spray. I need a new mascara. I've been doing the Fenty Hella Thick. It's not my favorite, if I'm being honest, but I don't want to waste it. So that's what I've been using. I'm excited to host my family next weekend and then. Boom, summer's gonna be over, you guys. I've been actually adding a little bit of fall decor already to the home. Don't get me wrong, I love summer, and it's very much still summer here in Texas. Like, actually it was 100 degrees, over 100 degrees last week, but I love home goods. I love um, just home shopping, and so, I popped in last week and it was just like fall galore and I just couldn't help myself. And this is the time, honestly, to shop for seasonal decor. It's like before the seasons change, if you really want to like have your pick. So yeah, I got some pillows, a new mat, changed out some florals. I'm going to share it with you guys um, some of the changes I've made. Well, I haven't even showed you guys my house. So let's start there. I'll give you guys like a little mini, maybe a little mini house tour, maybe. At least of the rooms that I feel like are shareable. <laughs> there are some rooms that are not shareable, but I do want to like, you know, I, I love, love, love decorating the house. It's just a very slow process for me. And so, I, yeah, that's why I... Yeah. Last but not least, we're gonna do a little lip. My favorite, favorite, favorite lip liner is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. All right? Yeah, Pillow Talk Three, intense. It needs to be sharpened, of course. Yeah. While I was switching my Switching y'all onto my phone camera. I was trying to get this my phone on the tripod and I got in a full blown out fight with my tripod, like hence the bandage on my finger. 
Like what? Like a low key one. Absolutely love this lip liner. Okay. I'm just gonna wear, this is one of my favorite lip glosses. NYX Butter Glosses are my favorite lip glosses. This is in the color Bit of Honey. It's really, really good. And yeah, I'm just gonna put that on. And that is the makeup. But I'm gonna go put on some jewelry and some perfume. But this is this is gonna have to, this is why I'm gonna stop the video. Um, this is my makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video's quick little get ready with me and just catching you guys up with my summer. And like I said, I'm going to share probably in the next video you'll see will be a little like house tour slash house update, if you will. Um also trying on some more makeup products since the ones I wanted to try out this video didn't really go as I planned but nonetheless <laughs> um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe as well and I'll see you guys in the next one bye